After a pretty cold and miserable May and June, July has been absolutely wonderful. We've had beautiful warm and dry weather and the days have been filled with gorgeous walks in the woods, refreshing swims in the sea and the most delicious ends to the days, sitting in the garden, watching the sun go down behind the hills. Immersing myself back into the natural world of Northern Europe has made me aware of just how much I miss this lushness and profusion of growth of the Northern summers. The delicious coolness of the mornings, the dappled shade under the canopy, and the happy murmur of a brook running alongside the path the air filled with the smell of honeysuckle and meadowsweet. Misty mornings full of dewdrops, strung like a row of pearls. It all delights my heart. Now that I am back, I realize that I'm truly Celtic by heart. I have missed my many plant friends trees, the flowers and the herbs. I miss the natural cycle of the Nordic wheel of the year and the deep healing that the change of seasons have to offer. A time to rest, a time to plant, a time to sow, a time to harvest. I am entwined with this magical cycle of the land here. Hey guys, so today I'm in the woods checking for hazelnuts. Um, they're getting ripe. It's just a little bit too early still, but it won't be long. A couple of, couple of days, a week, and they'll be good to go. But I'm picking a few green ones and I'll speed them along at home. There's loads. Have a look. Loads more here. And more here. Somebody's already finding these. <laughs> cool. So as you can see, the squirrels have already found these and are busy harvesting them. Can't blame them. Um, it's beautiful, nutritious food. So, yeah. The land is softer here, less extreme. It allows me to sink right in, holding me, teaching me, healing me. So much beauty all around. I have this incredible urge to dive right in. To dive deep. To remember all the mysteries. The wisdom of the earth. The medicine of the plants the healing cycles of nature. It is all laid out before me here, but with an unexpected gentleness that I couldn't see before. Now I see it, and it is beckoning me to surrender into the loving embrace of Mother Earth. Welcome home. A nice baby.
am excited to share this journey with you all. So much to learn, so much to love. I'm out in the woods with the dogs. It's been a really full on week, really busy. And um, yeah, busy with the business, busy with the crystals, lots of processing. It's new moon today. And uh, yeah, it's been a lot going on in the planets. And I'm certainly feeling Chiron in retrograde, that's no doubt. But on the positive, I'm feeling really good in myself physically. I've got energy. And I'm back in the gym, which is delightful. I really love running. And yeah, I'm, I'm kind of deciding that I'm gonna keep the YouTube channel going because there's something in my head for my 50th year or my 50th birthday, which is approaching early next year. And I would like to set myself a little challenge. And I thought it'd be great fun to um, document that. And I'll fill you in on that later on. But yeah, it's a kind of um, rethinking, because I know a lot of you, you know, just love kind of the natural stuff. And um, yeah, the things that I do in nature, the gathering, the making, the being creative. So maybe I can, make a video once or twice a month and just share that with you. So yeah, so that's the plan. I know the weather is much more fickle in the UK, but it's also its greatest gift. The biodiversity of this land is mind blowing and it's the large amounts of rain and the more temperate climate that makes it so green and lush. I have missed the sea mists, coming in thick and fast, covering the hills in blankets of cloud, and the feeling of bare feet on wet grass. beautiful people <clears throat> so I'm just quickly nipping out um, onto a patch of the surrounding fields where I found some pineapple weed so I'm gonna go and get some of that uh, and dry that for teas and other purposes and then also today is the 1st of August and I'm just gonna collect a few bits and bobs off the land to just put on our altar tonight just to honor the season of the harvest um, and yeah just kind of be in tune with the spirit of the land the spirit of the time uh, this is my favorite time of the year summer is just ah oh, July and August are my months I just adore the warmth I adore the lushness of the land and yes yeah, so I'm gonna go and pick a few bits that I can add to the ceremony tonight and just honoring the ancestors and the bounty of the land. So yeah, come with So I'll find a bit of pineapple weed, but because it's been so warm in the last couple of weeks, it's actually gone over really quickly, but I'm still picking a few bits and bobs and it'll sprout, I'm sure again, a little bit more once the rains return. But yeah, just show you what it is. 
So that's pineapple weed and it's of the chamomile family and um, it has very very similar properties as in um, good for the digestion it's very soothing very calming herb lovely as a tea just before bed and um, really good for the digestion as well so um, and its classic thing is it looks like a chamomile but it's got no um, petals around the rim and when you rub it it actually really gives that lovely scent of pineapple so um, quite easy to identify and yeah lovely herb to go picking now Let's talk about the um, the challenge. Um, I haven't said anything about that yet, so I just thought I'd squeeze that in as well. So, um, yeah. So for my fiftieth, I have this idea that I would like to learn a new old craft every month for twelve months for my fiftieth trip around the sun. So I'm thinking about anything from kind of um, spinning to basket weaving to dyeing with traditional herbs and plants to all the other kind of, you know, um, old traditional crafts, beekeeping, um, yeah, just loads. And yeah, I thought it'd be really nice to actually learn one new craft in each month. Obviously not perfect it, but just learn it. And yeah, see what I want to carry forward as well, because I really have this urge to come so much closer to nature, to move so much more to nature, into nature, with nature, creating through and with uh, nature. So yeah, I just feel there's so much to be learnt and so much healing to be found here and then i would love to document that on the youtube channel so um, if you have any ideas of what and um, how i can learn certain crafts just yeah just um, give me some ideas pop them in the comments and um, and then i'll pick 12 to go forward with and see what happens. I think it's going to be an amazing journey. So um, yeah, that's basically what the plan is. And I'm so excited to be sharing that with you all. And um, yeah, more in the next vlog. If you are new here, then by all means, if you like this video, do hit the subscribe button and um, yeah you'll get notified straight away of any new videos and yeah share like comment share the love that really helps us as well to grow and yeah looking forward to the next one lots of love bye